we're talking about increasingly capable software that can change as quickly as the world around us. We built a comprehensive developer data platform with the functionality required to serve a variety of operational use cases from the most simple to the most sophisticated. And as we've met with our 50,000 customers worldwide, we found that many of you are focused on three key priorities, either one of them or all of them. One, enabling developers to build software faster, yet more efficiently. Two, finding ways to introduce new tools, new capabilities to create AI-powered applications as we move into this new era of technology. And finally, ways to modernize off legacy traditional applications and systems that drive immense cost and complexity. And at MongoDB, we put a continual focus on building a strong foundation for your applications. We spend a lot of engineering time and resource on resilience to ensure your database confidently handles unpredictable situations. We enable scalability so you don't have to worry about whether your database can keep up with the ambition and the size of your audience or your customer base. We implement security capabilities that meet your most stringent requirements and protect your data without compromises. And of course, performance, so your database is always a tailwind helping you capture your opportunities and doesn't get in the way. And I am proud to announce today that MongoDB 8.0 is being released for general availability. And with 8.0, MongoDB is more resilient than ever. We've made memory management more efficient, we're providing a greater degree of observability, and providing more powerful controls so that you can take action if and when you need to. So in this release, we added additional query metrics that provide better insights and enable operators to differentiate between queries that spend a long time queuing and queries that spent a long time running. That's why at MongoDB, our mission is to make developers productive with data at any scale. And for this release, we are delivering three major improvements to make it happen. Embedded config servers, the ability to move uncharted collections, and faster resharding, all of which make this the best release of MongoDB yet for customers that are ready to grow. And because our customers continue to grow and be successful with MongoDB, we also need innovative ways to keep all that data safe. Now, in 8.0, we made this unique capability even more powerful by adding support for range queries. So now, you can run queries that find matches within a date or numeric range, all while your data remains encrypted. And last but not least, our latest release brings with it a truly incredible set of performance improvements. For benchmarks that exercise read-only workloads, we see MongoDB 8 perform 36% faster than the previous release. And in benchmarks designed to replicate typical web application workloads with a mix of reads and writes, we're seeing MongoDB perform 32% faster. For bulk inserts, we're seeing a 56% improvement. It's incredible, right? And for common time series workloads, we're seeing an incredible 60% gain with the introduction of block processing. Meltwater leverages Atlas Stream processing to ensure their customers have a real-time understanding of their brand, which is a competitive edge in this always connected world. Now, the reason Meltwater chose MongoDB Atlas Stream processing is because of the document model. It's a natural fit for the complexity and richness of the data found in streams. We've extended our query engine to process streaming data in real time without ever having to persist it and we've integrated it natively into our unified experience. We are very excited to announce the GA of our local experience for Atlas. It's available via the Atlas CLI, but also directly from Docker and Docker Compose. It includes key features such as Atlas search and vector search right out of the box so that you can build and test your applications with full text search, semantic search, and AI capabilities both locally and in your CI pipelines. The second key functionality that I like to spotlight helps developers design, test, and iterate over their queries. Starting today, we're bringing this workflow right inside of developers' IDE. MongoDB for VS Code now integrates with Copilot to make writing queries, scripts, and performing other database tasks easier than ever without leaving where you're working. We've partnered with our friends at JetBrains to augment the MongoDB experience and their suite of IDEs, starting with IntelliJ for Java. I am excited to announce that our official plugin for IntelliJ is now available in private preview. 
So snap this QR code right here and head to our website to register for access to this exciting new plugin. With MongoDB, we give you the best of both approaches and avoid those trade-offs. We brought powerful vector capabilities natively into the document model. Today, we're very excited to announce the GA of quantization in MongoDB Atlas Vector Search. Traditional methods using full precision vectors often lead to high in-memory storage costs and sometimes slower query times. This hinders the scalability and performance of vector-based applications, making it difficult to handle complex and large-scale requirements typically seen as applications go to large-scale production. This is where quantization comes in. It's a technique that compresses vectors for efficient storage while preserving their semantic similarity. This will significantly reduce memory and storage costs without negatively impacting the quality of the results from queries. And customers in highly regulated industries are powering their AI applications with MongoDB, like the leading pharmaceutical company, Novo Nordisk. Thanks, Wahid and Tobias, for uh, speaking with us today. As Sahir mentioned, Novo Nordisk is a leading pharmaceutical company. They're headquartered out in, in Denmark and have over 70,000 employees globally. In general, in the pharma industry, we have a lot of experience with SQL databases. So we have 30 years of history, SAS analyzed. But we wanted to, to scale fast and we wanted to have the best technology to support our use case. So we experimented, yeah, from Excel to graph databases. Um, and it turned out that the document model was exactly what we were looking for. It's scalable, it's easy to work with, and um, it, it, is, it can scale into the unknown because we will onboard documents we don't yet know about, and the flexibility of the model will help us with that. In the pharma industry, if you look at it uh, in general, it's, it's quite a technic, technical, technically conservative or technology conservative industry. Yeah. Um, and there's a, a lot of incumbent vendors that have been providing solutions for the last 10, 15 years. Um, and they're kind of the standard, as Tobias said, the, the standard SQL and uh, relational databases and, 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 and things like that. And they haven't really been able to deliver the value, uh, to, to be honest. So we wanted to do something different. We looked outside of our industry and really saw that Mongo was delivering the value and giving us the facility that we needed. But that required that we took those discussions then with the IT part of organizations to say, look, we really see the value here. We ran some tests with, uh, with some of the guys that, you, uh, that work in, in Denmark from Mongo. And we were able to show that, look, if we proceed with Mongo, we can really, really see value generation very, very quickly. And from a technical perspective, right, using things like Bedrock and Vector Search, and it's kind of evolving for you as well, right? Yeah, so it, it works. It works really great in, in supporting and guardrailing our use of, of AI. As we know, in our industry, we, we can't make mistakes. <laughs> and, and Bedrock and well done Rack with the right guardrails, while having the right data as corpus for the information stored in your MongoDB, makes this a really really smooth process. Yeah. Now, for those of you who are not on Atlas, I am thrilled to announce that we're going to bring that powerful capability of Atlas Search and Vector Search to MongoDB Community Edition. We are putting these key features in the hands of developers right from the inception of their development journey, being able to run wherever you need, locally on a development system or on-premises. The MongoDB AI Applications Program. We are working with leading partners across every layer of the AI stack to provide technology and expertise that you need to help build and safely deploy modern AI-enriched applications at enterprise scale. With MAP, we offer technical expertise to help build apps quickly, safely, and cost-effectively. And our investment in education is woven into the culture and fabric of who we are as a company. We're so proud that right here in the UK alone, there are over 160,000 technology professionals who have listed MongoDB as a skill on their LinkedIn profiles, and it's growing. MongoDB University is our unique offering designed to help you get the most out of your experience with us. It features content crafted by experts, ensuring you can sharpen your skills and make the most of our latest releases. Whatever your level of expertise, our curriculum meets you where you are with free self-paced courses, interactive labs, and comprehensive certifications. Our program adapts to your style. It adapts to your schedule, making learning truly accessible. And today, we're introducing two new Gen AI badges as well to help you get started with the latest capabilities, some of which you heard about today. And as a little bonus announcement, the rumors are true, 
we are rolling out dark mode to our documentation. It went out last week. We got a lot of feedback on this. So you can thank us later.